Theodora of Beaudley wrote to us and wants to know if woodpeckers get headaches. Well, Taryn, the short answer would be no. Woodpeckers don't get headaches because their bills aren't solidly attached to their skulls. Most birds have pneumatized bones. This means they aren't as solid as ours. Instead, they're filled with tiny pockets of air, just like this chocolate bar. On a woodpecker, the bone that connects its bill to its skull is so full of air pockets that it has a sponge-like quality to it. What this does is act as a shock absorber, isolating the bird's pounding beak from its skull so the brain doesn't get hammered. So why do they pound on trees anyways? Well, getting food is one reason. Getting a mate is the other. Woodpeckers can't sing, so they communicate through the rhythmic pounding of their bills. Craig Jackson of Toronto called us to ask, why do new shoes sometimes give us blisters? Well, Craig, there's actually more to the problem than just your new pair of shoes. The real culprit is internal friction. You see, the rubbing of your shoe against the back of your foot causes the top layer of your skin to be sheared back and forth against the bottom layer. This causes the layers to separate leaving a space in between them. While the top layer dies and turns white, fluid from your blood vessels fills the space in between the two layers, and you end up with a blister. Rebecca Peel of Etobicoke writes in and wants to know why snakes are charmed by music. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but it's not the music, and they're not exactly being charmed. You see, snakes have such poor hearing, the notes played on this instrument barely register. So what's going on? Well, in a word, self-defense. Snakes are notoriously far-sighted. They're unable to focus on anything put right in front of their face. Unable to recognize what it's confronted with, the snake instinctively becomes defensive. So how do you make sure the snake doesn't strike out? Well, the key to controlling the snake's temper is the carefully measured distance you hold the horn from the snake's head, close enough to get its attention, not too close as to provoke an attack. 